When you think about new work as we see it today and we talk about, you know, this world is changing, people are asking for different things, we're ready for a new work. How are we avoiding that this new work in the end is not just another transition and another fad? And the most dangerous assumption we have today, I think, is this, that to be modern, to think like a startup, to be young and so forth, is all about changing our mentality to something that is contemporary. So we say this, a new workplace is one where you paint the walls orange, you have a ping pong table, you bring your dog to work, and you have a tattoo on your neck. This is the explanation of the new business world, and there's something wrong with it. 98.2% of all young startups go broke. And so what kind of new workplace is ready for a change which is not cosmetic, which is not for the times, which is not to do with being modern. It is one, when you look at our history as people, it's one where we've gone from the age of the first revolutions, and of course the industrial revolution, then the revolution of knowledge, the information revolution, somewhat of a digital era, but we have yet to come to the era of wisdom. And wisdom is that what we're looking for in the workplace. Wisdom means I need to qualify and certify 67-year-olds to come in and work with these kids. Now, are they ready to contribute? Could they contribute dramatically if you gave them a, a translation to the digital world and a way in which they could come in and spend 20 minutes in a meeting with some 27 and 32-year-olds and think together and say, I'm looking for some experience, I'm looking for some wisdom, but I'm not looking for you to sit in a meeting all day.